Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Oracle 10G Express Edition. Now, of course, Oracle 11G database is already out. However, XE is a much smaller database, smaller footprint, and it consumes less memory. I like to use this database when I'm creating test ADF applications. Now what you're going to do first of all is go to Oracle's website. You can just Google Oracle XE Downloads. And you'll go to the main site and if you navigate down to the downloads area, you'll see the download for Express Edition. So once you download it anywhere on your local machine, you're going to see this file called Oracle XE.exe. Once you have that, go ahead and double click on it. Okay, you'll get this little warning perhaps and just say run. Sometimes this step takes a minute or two. We're almost finished. And here we go. So you'll see this splash screen right here. Go ahead and hit Next. Go ahead and accept the terms of the license agreement. And then you can use the default installation location. If you want to choose a different destination folder, you can go ahead and do that. Just remember where it is. You also need to provide a password for both sys and system users. Now since this is just a learning environment, uh, to make this easy to remember, I'm going to call my password, password. It gives you this little summary and now you can install. Now, if you're having issues, if it gives you a warning message or an error saying that it cannot install because of DHCP issues, I'm going to show you how to use the workaround for that. This process of copying files might take a few minutes, so be patient. Okay, we're just about finished. At this point, it's going to create and start services. So once this is finished, you'll see Express Edition under your Administrative Tools Services. I'll show you that in a minute as well. And now you'll see a splash screen that looks like this. Go ahead and keep that check mark right there and we'll hit Finish. This is going to launch the database homepage. Okay, and this is what it looks like. So let's test our login. Our username is going to be System and the password is Password. And now you should see a screen that looks like this. So here's the administration area, here's the object browser, this is where you can issue SQL statements and so on. What this interface is, is um, this is actually Oracle Application Express and it's just giving you a, a peek, it's giving you an interface into your actual database. There's one more thing that I'd like to show you and that's where you can find the services that were installed. So all you need to do is go to your control panel and then go to your administrative tools right up here. You do have to have administrative privileges to see this. And then go to services. And if you scroll down far enough, look for Oracle. You'll see here that we have our Oracle Service XE. You should also see some other XE services such as the job scheduler and the uh, CLR agent, the TNS listener, but really the main one, the database engine, is this one right here. So the default installation, what it's going to do is set that service to automatic, which means when you shut down your computer and then start it back up, the service will automatically start up. If you want to disable that feature, you can double click on here and you can change that to manual. And what that does is it forces you to start the service manually when you start up the server, because you might not always want your database up and running. So if I set that to manual, I want to show you how to toggle on and off the service. So once again, you can double click on here and it's very easy. You just click on stop to stop the service. And then of course the opposite is to click the start button. Okay, let me go ahead and restart this again. And we'll go ahead and hit OK and I'll just close this up. And there you have it, your services. Well, I hope this has helped you out. 
Once again, if you have any issues with DHCP, please thank you for watching. For our I'm Julie Johnson video with Firebox on how to Training. Figure that. Come visit us at www.fireboxtraining.com.